Okay, I just got this package. It came early today. Normally it comes in the afternoon from UPS. But this is my unboxing video. Looks like that end is partially open. Oh, it's just a little broke right there. So, Alright, so this is my hot saw. It should be my hot saw 125 sniper. Rated somewhere between 750 and 850 feet per second. It never, there's different advertisements. And so this box is broke on the bottom. Hopefully it's fine. And this one's rated at 750 feet per second. And the only reason I bought this is because when I bought on Amazon, it was supposed to be this caliber. And they sent me a 22 instead of a 25. And they said they would replace it with the right caliber, but the seller didn't have um, that caliber anymore in stock. So all they would do is maybe refund me. And I wanted the 25 caliber, so I went ahead and kept the 22. But it, something's wrong with it, so I had to send it back to Hot Sun to get fixed. Okay. So it says Hot Sun 125 combo, which means it comes with a sling. And maybe something else. Uh, 25 caliber black synthetic. And it has a, a scope with it. 3 to 9 by 32 usually. Which is good for about 20 yards. For being right on the part where you can see it clearly. Past that it gets a little fuzzy for me. Alright, so. The end of the rifle where the package was damaged was the barrel end. But it doesn't appear to be damaged. Appears to be fine. It has the owner's manual safety thing, warning. Scope with the, the Allen wrench, 3 to 9, about 32. Should be. I better check it to make sure. Uh, I like these scopes. Just that, you know, they're not like. I don't know. Oh, this is <sighs> okay, so there's two Allen keys, three. Wonder why they sent three. Oh, one's for the scope and two's for the rifle. Okay, yeah, it's a nice scope. 3 to 9 by 32. I actually like these. I like the 40 better. But, you know, this is what you get with the rifle. And for the price, it's pretty good. I paid about 196 for this on field supply. Um, the sights, and this is the, anyways, this is a three-part uh, uh, buttstock extension. Uh, the sights on this powerful of a rifle um, are not good up to 25 yards in the 22 caliber. I have no idea on this yet. Um, so, probably 30, 35 yards, uh, the sights are good on the 22. Uh, but, I'll find out about the 25 later. I got a bunch of stuff to do today first. Uh, you can see I just got all broken up from the shipping. At least it came on time. UPS is a lot more reliable to me than FedEx Ground is. Oh my goodness, FedEx Ground has misplaced more packages. They don't do their scanning right between one place and the next. They just get it on the shipments and let it go somewhere. Mistakes happen when they get careless like that. Like on track, they're the biggest, worst ones. Because I worked there for a while. Oh man, look at this. This is soaking wet with oil. I wonder why it's soaking wet with oil. I gotta get something to wipe that off. I've never had one arrive soaking in oil. Hmm. Maybe they put oil on it to, uh, I guess it's been sitting so long. Wow, that's a lot of oil. And there's rust in there too. I can tell. Because it's coming off on the oil. Some people call it packing grease. There's a difference between packing grease and rust. Packing grease isn't brown. Packing grease turns out somewhere between clear and black. Alright, looks good. 
It's a brand new one. Man, there was a lot of oil on there. That's okay. I'll take it apart later and take a look at it. Not taking it apart, just take the stock off. If I do anything to the gun myself, it, voids the war it can void the warranty. Um, let's see if this one has... See, now this one doesn't have the rust that the, the 22 had. This one has a clean spring, whereas the 22 had a lot of rust on the spring. So my guess is this one's going to be a good rifle. This screw right here is not in the right place. Right here. This is in sideways. So I better take a picture of that. Um, I guess it'll be okay. Just a little bit sideways. I, I probably have to just secure it a little bit. Um, I always want to check the screws on these rifles. Um, it does have a nice quattro trigger on these things. These things come between two and three pounds usually on the trigger pull. So, yeah, I, I don't very rarely adjust them because they're set really good when you get them or when I get them. I've got a 30 caliber with a quattro trigger, 22 caliber, and now a 25 caliber with a quattro trigger. And also, I have some AT4, a couple of AT44s with good, the quattro triggers on them. So, I'm really happy with that. So, these things weigh about 9 pounds like this. About 9 point, I don't know, less than 10 pounds or close to it with the scope added to it. Comes with the scope rings on it. These are dovetail, but the, the mount right here is Weaver or 11 millimeter dovetail. Comes with a scope stop back here, and there's two holes up here where you can put like a scope stop on a scope ring. It has an automatic safety, and um, I'm surprised it's in the fire position, but they're safe when you push it in, fire when you pull it out. Uh, to take the stock off, you have to take this screw out here. Then this part comes out by unscrewing it, so to speak, or you can just push it out. And then you got to take out this screw on the front of the trigger guard and the screw in the back of the trigger guard. <clears throat> and then, um, then you can take the stock off the rifle. Um, so it's a nice rifle. It's uh, got the German steel barrel. Um, now this one doesn't have the same type of silencer on it that the uh, 22 caliber does. Uh, I'm really surprised, but it doesn't have the feet per second that the 22 caliber has, you know, because it's a thicker pellet. But these kind of hand, these, this type of end right here uh, is the kind that comes on the Hotson Edge and Hotson 95, those kind of things. Um, and a couple other brands of the hot sun, uh, lesser expensive rifles. But um, there's a little wrench right here you could put in, Allen wrench, and take this off and put another one on if you wanted to, or if I wanted to. But I'm, I'm glad that uh, I got this one for such a good price. Um, it's listed about $200 and it sells for about 186, 196, somewhere around there. I don't remember, but uh, I'm glad to get it. How much? I don't think it says on here how much I paid. But it was somewhere around 186, 186, 196 dollars. And this was the last one for that price on field supply, because I went back on and I looked again in case this other guy wanted to get one, and sure enough, this was the last one. So, and they have more, but not at that price. Hot Sun USA has a camouflage one with the adjustable cheek piece for uh, $129. They have one left. But this one here does not have the adjustable cheek piece, whereas the 22 caliber one I have does. So, 
but there's still it's the same shooting system it's a spring piston the mod 125 sniper uh, SAS quattro trigger so I don't care about the stock I don't care about the silencer on this one it's kind of necessary on the 22 because it comes out so fast I had two or three shots where there was a little bit of residual oil that came out uh, above the speed of sound it sounded like a a regular rifle going off and shooting gunpowder shells. So, got some oil on there. Went all the way through. That's okay. You're supposed to go over guns when you get them. And this one looks pretty nice. I'm happy with getting it. I don't like that the package was damaged, but I'm okay. There was no damage to the gun. <clears throat> I think that's about it. Oh, it has about 50, 51 uh, pounds of caulking effort. So I use two hands to caulk these rifles. Uh, this is harder. These are these are harder to caulk than my 30 caliber is, and uh, it should shouldn't be, but it is. And then um, in the owner's manual, it tells how to adjust the three different parts of the trigger which is really good instructions. It's excellent instructions in this owner's manual. Uh, Kenny Cormody from My Air Gun Reviews, uh, when he was alive, he made a, a handful of videos about the 22 and the 25 uh, spring piston and vortex piston. And uh, I liked watching his videos and he gave me a lot of good information about guns. Helped me out a lot when I first getting started. And, uh, getting higher powered stuff. He was really informative. So sorry he passed away. But um, he shared information from other uh, people that made videos like Rick Usler and stuff. So he gave credit to other people. There were some people that he didn't like their videos, you know, about Walmart scopes and air guns and things. And uh, Walmart has good stuff just like anybody else in their sporting goods department. It's different than most places. They have one or two people that'll work in the sporting goods department. If they're not there, then a manager is the only one who can help you. Regular employees can't. When you buy stuff at Walmart in the sporting goods, you have to pay for it in the sporting goods department. If not, the employee has to walk the item over to another cashier and hand it to him. You can't carry it over. Like if you're buying pellets or or if I'm buying pellets or scopes or any ammunition or anything, uh, it has to be handled at right there or by the employee to the other place. FYI. So this is an older version of this gun. It's not the newer version, which I don't care. It's in good shape. Uh, I'm surprised there was so much oil, but maybe that's why it's in good shape. My guess is I got to clean this barrel pretty good because of how much oil was on it. So. I'm okay with that. Long, long, long video.